Howdy y'all, Satan's Durable here. Nope, today we are going through the modding Fallout New Vegas. We are going to first, of course you gotta open Steam. Alright, so the first thing, uh, I'm assuming you've at least gotten as far as installing and getting it to launch. Okay, you don't need to start a game, all you need to do launch it so it gets the INI files and you go ahead and you put in your video settings. So the first thing we're going to need is several DLLs, several Windows components that will let us run the modding software that we need to use. Um, so we'll go to our library first and you go to Fallout New Vegas here, go to manage, go to browse local files and that will open it up for you and uh, since this is geared towards users of Garuda Gaming uh, we're gonna go through how to do that in here so once you open files this is what you get you click on your menu here and boom you can open right in the terminal and that's where you get over here onto this so uh, what we're gonna do is proton tricks look at that we have code completion in the fucking terminal man. I mean how awesome is that man and Proton Tricks is already installed uh, with Garuda Gaming, so you don't have to worry about going and compiling it yourself and you know downloading Python and all that. It's it's all done for you, man. It's all it's, it's just cake, dude. This is just the icing. So, and once you launch that, that one's going to ask you to pick your library game, Fallout New Vegas. Go ahead and launch, and hop back over into your terminal here, and let's see. Blah, warnings, warnings, warnings. Click on them and tell them to go away. And you're going to be doing this for quite a while. Um, and all of them that come up, just ignore them. They will go away. And you're going to get a lot of them as it installs this. This is a very lengthy process. All right, so once it opens Proton Tricks GUI, you'll want to select the default one prefix. Go to Install Windows DLL or Component, and we're going to choose .NET 462. We don't have to go and click through all the dependencies because it knows what it needs. So it's going to go through installing .NET 4.0 and 4.1 and so all the variants that are dependencies of 462 before it actually gets to that one. Um, this part can take a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to kill this video right here. It's a short little intro and um, we'll pick it up at the next step. Have fun. <laughs> 